This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Nancy Moeller. Welcome back, everyone. I am so happy that you are tuned in to this show because this is the championship game of the winter 2019 season. And uh, we have some great players joining us tonight. We started off with a field of over 12 high schools. We are down to our final two, Defiance and Bath High Schools. We're going to introduce you to our players in just a minute, but first I want to thank our judge, Mark Dickman, for being with us all season and um, getting us through some of the tougher questions. Of course, um, we are going to turn to our players now and introduce you to them. They have worked hard this season and many of them are familiar faces to you. So let's go with Defiance. Playing for Defiance is Connor Black, Xavier Payne, Ethan McCabe, and Brandon Morgan. Defiance is coached by James Kerr. Welcome back to you guys. All right, turning now to Bath High School. Playing for Bath, Vincent Abrams, Natalie Crow, Derek Inskeep, and Jem and Gandhi. Bath High School is coached by Daniel Grimm. Welcome back to all of you as well. All right, let's make this fun. It's a little bit different because each round we will have 20 questions and then we will take a break and come back for the others. And these are all worth 10 points apiece. They're all up for grabs. It's so important in this game though that you speak up as much as you can and please make those answers as complete as possible. We have a lot of people playing at home as well. And again, if we have any questions about your answers, we will refer to our judge, Mark, okay? Is everybody set? Okay, here we go. Name the cloth sash that is often worn with a tuxedo. Yes, Bath? A cummerbund? A cummerbund is correct. What is the Hebrew word meaning peace? Yes, Beth. Shalom. Shalom is the answer. Who was the husband of Dale Evans? Yes, Beth. Lucy Evans. Lucy is incorrect. Defiance, you've got a chance to answer this one. All right, time is up. The answer is Roy Rogers. All right, question four. What popular children's book was originally titled The Emerald City? Yes, Bath. The Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz is correct. All right, question five in this first round. What city on Lake Michigan is known as the Windy City? Yes, Defiance. Chicago. Chicago is right. Name the popular Cape Resort area in Massachusetts. Yes, Defiance. Cape Cod. Cape Cod is the answer. Number seven. What flying mammal has a built-in sonar, sy sonar system? Yes, Defiance. Bat. Bat is correct. What is the primate with a large brain that walks upright? Yes, that'd be Bath. Human. Human is correct. All right, question number nine. What cabinet level department was created in the aftermath of 9-11? Yes, Defiance. The Department of Homeland Security. That is the right answer. All right, we're almost halfway through the first round. During what president's administration was the Louisiana Territory purchased? Yes, that'd be Bath. Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson is the answer. All right, moving on to our final 10 questions in round one. What branch of the government has the power to declare war? Bath. The legislative branch. That is correct, we'll take that answer. All right, the ancient Greek gods ate what food that made them immortal? Yes, Bath. Ambrosia. Ambrosia is correct. What North Dakota city's name was changed in 1843 to honor a German chancellor? Bath. Bismarck. Bismarck is correct. What ring-tailed animals are known? Yes, that would be defiance. Lemur. That is incorrect. Bath, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, yes please. please. 
what ring-tailed animals are known for hand washing? Yes. The meerkat. That is also incorrect. It is the raccoon. Nope. All right. Moving on. Name the bird that is the emblem of peace. Yes, defiance. The dove. The dove is correct. Who is the current Chief Justice of the United States? Yes, that would be defiance. John Roberts. That is correct. All right. Name the alpine plant that was the subject of a song in The Sound of Music. Defiance. At always. That is correct. All right. Three questions remaining in our first round. What type of triangle has two equal sides? Defiance. Isosceles. That is correct. The U.S. Army officer in charge of supplies is called what Q word? Yes, Bath. Quartermaster. Quartermaster is the answer. And your final question in round one of this championship game. Name the popular app that was once called Peekaboo. Yes, Defiance. Snapchat. Snapchat is correct. All right, take a breath for right now. We've come to the end of round one. Here is our score. Wow, it is a tie. Both teams, Defiance and Bath with 90 points. We'll be back with our second round after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz Contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, you are watching an exciting championship game right now between Bath and Defiance High Schools. Here's our score, both teams with 90 points. We are moving into our second round. Again, 20 questions were 10 points apiece. Is everybody set? All right, here we go. What was President Lyndon Johnson's wife's nickname? Defiance. Lady Bird. Lady Bird is correct. What is the length of a term for a U.S. Senator? Defiance. Six years. Six years is correct. Name the capital city of Finland. Defiance. Helsinki. Helsinki is the answer. Question number four. What is thank you in Spanish? Yes, Beth. Gracias. Gracias is correct. All right. Question number five. What long-legged, long-necked wading bird? Yes, that would be defiance. The crane. The crane is incorrect. Bath, do you want me to complete the question? Yes, yes please. please. All right. What long-legged, long-necked wading bird was sacred in ancient Egypt? Yes. The heron. That is incorrect. It's the ibis. All right. Question six, name the famous tomb in Arlington National Cemetery that holds the remains. Yes, that would be Bath. The Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. You are correct. Name the Great Desert high in Central Asia. Yes, Bath. The Gobi Desert. Gobi is correct. Name the 1872 painting by James Whistler that has also been called Arrangement in Gray and Black Number One. Yes, Beth. The Contrast. That is incorrect. Defiance, you've got a chance. Okay, time is up. The answer is Whistler's Mother. All right, question number nine in the second round. Which state was the birthplace of a president on each side of the Civil War? Yes, Beth. Virginia. Virginia is incorrect. Defiance, you want to try it? 
Yes. Ohio? Ohio is also incorrect. It's Kentucky, the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln and Jefferson Davis. All right, question 10. What is the capital city of Kenya? Yes, defiant. Nairobi. Nairobi is the answer. All right, moving on. Our final 10 questions in our second round. Name the Southern Asia country that changed its name from East Pakistan in 19, yes, that would be Bath. Bangladesh. Bangladesh is correct. What term is applied to humans and animals when they have a congenital lack of color? Yes, defiance. Albinism. I'm sorry? Albinism. That is correct. Albino is the answer. So what rights begin with the phrase, you have the right to remain silent? Yes, defiance. Your Miranda rights. Miranda rights is the answer. Where did the surprise Japanese attack happen? Yes, Bath. Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor is the answer there. Revolutionary War volunteer militiamen were called what? Yes, Bath. Minutemen. Minutemen is the answer. Identify the city and country where Nazi war criminals were tried. Yes, that would be Bath. Nuremberg, Germany. You are correct. All right, moving on to question 17 in the <coughs> second round. What is 3.1416? Yes, that would be Bath. Pi. Pi is the answer. Okay, we have three questions remaining in our second round of this championship game. Who invented modern scuba gear for deep sea divers? Time is up, teams. The answer is Jacques Cousteau. All right. Name the Roly Poly Brothers in Alice in Wonderland. Yes, defiance. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. That is correct. And your final question in the second round. What is the slang term for the little finger? Yes, Beth? The pinky. Pinky is the answer. Okay, another deep breath and exhale. We've come to the end of our second round. Here is a score now. Bath, you have 180 points. Defiance, 160. We'll be back with our final round of 20 questions. Stay right there. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the knock your socks off deal. All right, we are just 20 questions away from finding out who is the champion of the 2019 winter whiz quiz season and the uh, excitement is pretty high here because we do have a close score defiance you have 160 points bath high school you have 180 again we are moving into this final round 20 questions were 10 points apiece one of our players last season called this brain hockey <laughs> that kind of feels that way all right everybody ready here we go what position did both Condoleezza Rice and Colin Powell both hold? Yes, Beth? Secretary of State. That is the correct answer. What is the Japanese art of folding paper? Yes, defiance. Origami. Origami is correct. What is the name for a star with a short, unusual brightness caused by an explosion? Yes, defiance. A pulsar? That is incorrect. Beth, you have a chance with this one. Yes. Supernova? That is correct. Supernova. Who served as vice president under Lyndon Johnson? Yes, Beth. Herbert Humphrey? That is, that is. Oh, it's Hubert Humphrey. Incorrect, yep. You, 
Hubert Humphrey. Hubert Humphrey. All right, moving on. We haven't had that happen very often this season. So here we go with question number five in our final round. Smokey the Bear says, only you can prevent, yes, that would be bath. Wildfires? That is incorrect, defiance? Forest fires. Forest fires is the answer. All right, question number six in this final round. Weapons for which sport are the foil? A yes, that would be bath. Fencing? Fencing is correct. Name the shopping center that is big enough to hold seven Yankee stadiums. Yes, Defiance? Ikea. That is incorrect. Beth, you've got a chance. Yes. Uh, the American Mall. That is incorrect. It was close. It's the Mall of America. All right, question eight. What holiday is on June 14th each year? Yes, Beth. Flag Day. Flag Day is correct. What college football coach is credited with saying, when the going gets tough, the tough get going? Beth. Urban Meyer. That is the incorrect answer. Good one, but defiance, yes. Lou Holtz. Close, but no, it is Newt Rockney of Notre Dame. All right. Our 10th question in our final round. In what card game is the best hand a royal flush? Yes, defiance. Poker. Poker is correct. All right, teams, we're moving into our final 10 questions. Defiance, you have 200 points. Bath with 220. Again, we have 10 questions remaining. In December of 1777, 10,000 men camped at this site. Yes, Bath. Valley Forge. Valley Forge is correct. How wide is an NFL football field? Yes, that would be Defiance. 53 and one third yards. We will accept that. All right, very good. In what city was Julius Caesar assassinated in 44 BC? Yes, defiance. Rome. Rome is the answer. What religious group of people lives in a monastery? Yes, Bath. Monks. Monks is correct. In ballet, how many positions are there for the feet? Yes, Bath. Five. Five is the answer. Okay. We have five questions remaining in this game. Everybody relax and try to have some fun with this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Which US president is famous for the saying, the buck stops here? Beth. Woodrow Wilson. That is incorrect. Defiance, you wanna try it? Yes. Theodore Roosevelt. Also incorrect, it's Harry Truman. All right. What does the acronym FAQ mean? Yes, defiance. Frequently asked questions. That is correct. All right, three questions remaining here. Niagara Falls is between what two? Yes, that would be Beth. The United States and Canada. That is incorrect. Defiance, you want me to complete the question? Yes, Niagara Falls is between what two Great Lakes? Ontario. Yes. Ontario and Erie. That is correct. All right. Two questions remain in this championship game. What industry is Hawaii's prime money maker? Yes, defiance. Coconut. That is incorrect. Beth, do you want to try it? Yes. Pineapple. That is also incorrect. It is tourism. <sighs> All right. Final question in your game. What is the front part of a ship called? Yes. The bow. The bow is the answer. All right. We have come to the end of a very well played game. This was great, you guys. Both teams did a fantastic job. A lot of high scores here. All right, here is our final score. Defiance, 240 points.
Bath, you are the champion with 260. So congratulations, you are the champions of the season. Defiance High School, thank you so much. Very well played. We'll be back to hand out the hardware right after the break. Don't go away. I think we are still breathing a sigh of relief right now. What a tremendous final game that was for our whiz quiz season. And I am surrounded right now by some of the brightest God-given minds in this area. We have Defiance High School and Bath High School as um, just playing a tremendous game. And I'm going to turn now to Defiance High School who came in second, but a very close second, I think just 20 Questions, uh, yeah, 20 points separated these two. And um, Mr. Kerr, James Kerr, how, uh, how do you feel right now? Well, I'm proud of these guys. Yeah. They're, they're, a, they're a very special group. They work really hard, and we're glad to be here at this station, and thank you for the ministry. You are so welcome. I, I just can't tell you enough how uh, how well these guys played and very respectful gentlemen. So um, we want to thank you for being with us. Thank you. All right. Turning now to Bath High School. It's been a while since we have seen you stand in this spot. Daniel Grimm, I am um, so proud of your team. And um, I know that you have, I think, one senior. And so we're going to see three of these players back. Well, we won't want to count our chickens before they're hatched, oh, but, th okay. but thank you very much, Fred. You know, this is the third time we've been here in about the last decade, and um, we finally broke to this side, but I'm very proud. And I also want to thank you for uh, putting this tournament on for us and what you guys do for our area. Uh, I also want to say that both schools, that all schools be competed against. Uh, I'm very proud of the fact that great sportsmanship was displayed all the time. And that's what I always tell my team's the most important thing. Uh, whether we win or lose, you better not embarrass yourself, myself, or the school are so right and we've got a lot of people at home that are watching a lot of the parents and grandparents and neighbors and so uh, you know it, it is really important and you did you all um, did such a great job and our scores were so high I mean you you all did such a great job at least attempting to answer the questions so for that you should be proud as well so anyway go forward good luck to all of you be blessed as you um, move forward in your school year and beyond and thank you again for joining us this season. We want to thank you at home as well. We hope to see you back here in the fall. Until then, bye-bye everyone.